Hello there, Cancers. Welcome to your mid-February 2017 tarot reading. So for the next two weeks, uh, the first message that I have out here is um, in the work environment, I feel like somebody is interfering with your the creative process, okay? You're sitting there doing your work, minding your own business, and I do feel other people are like um, either telling you how you should do something, and uh, I feel like whatever their inputs are, um, you're letting it wash off you, you're letting it rub off you, and I don't feel that you're going to change your plans according to what they want, but I feel like they're meddling or interfering with the creative process. So in the work environment, I feel some of you guys are dealing with that. And then for others, um, I feel like you're actively looking for work, and you have a few options that are going to be coming through for the next two months. Um, I'm seeing like two main jobs. One of them, uh, I feel like it's a skills building uh, type of job and it can form a career. But you're starting out kind of like at the bottom. So you need to, you know, work your way up in order to get pay increases in order to land a uh, higher paying position. So you're and then the other job that you're debating about is uh, also a job where you know you start out with a high salary but it feels as if there might not be potential for for growth like room for a lot of growth and you know um, vertical movement in that career so you're, you're debating between these two and you're trying to figure out what's the best option starting out okay so you have some good things coming through and um, I also feel like a lot of you are tweaking your resume you're getting letters of, of recommendation you're also getting like uh, references. Just make sure that you um, you get professional references with people that you like because I feel like some people they might you know uh, covertly undermine you when um, the new employee employers call in for a reference check or call in for a letter of recommendation. They might say things that you know. That, that that might not that might rub you the wrong way so just make sure your sources are reliable and make sure that you use uh, references that speak really well to your skills and whatever you're bringing to the table especially people that know you well and know like how good of a worker you are so I, I see a little bit of um, I, I don't want to say sabotage but I feel like you know people the with hidden agendas with ulterior motives coming in okay so be careful about that um, financially, I feel like a lot of you are starting to save, which is good. You know, savings is always good. And I feel that you, you, you get uncomfortable when your savings starts to deplete. So that's another thing that I want you to keep an eye out for emotional spending and also like, um, you know, projecting into the future, how much you're going to have like two, three months down the line and then spending it ahead of time before the money comes in. So just something to keep an eye out for. Um, I'm seeing a lot of you are trying to secure a home. So this is an apartment, a condo, a home, a duplex. You're trying to look into the market to see what's available. And I feel like you're being shown around by real estate agents or even like um, tenements, uh, like managers, uh, like apartment managers or building manager. And you're looking around to see what's available for you. I see three options opening up on the housing front. And I feel like an apartment coming through. I see a house that might be outside of your price range. And I do feel like a, a few things that you're looking at. So um, I do feel for some of you too, for the next three weeks, um, contracts will be finalized as well. You know, like, I, I feel like you're not in a hurry, so just take your time. If something doesn't strike you, like, on an emotional basis, like, if it doesn't seem like it's going to be a comfortable home, if you can't envision yourself living there, just hold off on this big investment and try to, you know, wait it out a little bit. Because, um, you know, you, you are a, a homebody compared to all the other signs. And so it's important for you to, f uh, to feel really comfortable and to really love your home. And so it's important to just, you know, uh, delay the transaction until you find something that you feel is suitable for you emotionally and also within your price range, okay? Because I feel the options coming through, it's a little bit outside of your price range and you're kind of like rushing the process. And so it's a better deal, I would say, like within the next three weeks, try to wait it out, um, especially like the beginning of um, March as well. I feel like that's a good time for you to revisit this uh, moving in or this housing situation because I feel more listings will be made available for you. So I would advise you not to sign contracts yet as it relates to housing situation, okay? Apartments, condos, new houses, new property. Um, what I'm feeling for some of you is um, you have recently walked away from a person 
and this some this person is really it ha has been quite significant in your life okay so i feel like he or she was um they might not have been very financially stable in the past but they are really really financially stable right now and i feel almost as if you're still keeping in touch with this person and this person has feelings for you the feelings run deep they're very very strong and they're waiting for you to come back i feel like when you were together um you you might have lived together under the same roof like in the same household there might have been plans to either get married or get engaged and for some reason the plans fell apart and I feel like there's a lot of chemistry that you have with this person and at the time too you were you know busy you, you were out there in the world trying to create um, a financial foundation for yourself trying to you know uh, build up your empire they themselves were very very busy building up their empire and you might have thought that they were very money oriented and so for whatever reason the relationship didn't last and I still feel like you're, you have really fond memories of this person, but you have moved on from it. And I feel like they're, they're still looking at you with the same longing, uh, wanting closure, wanting to, re -com uh, to communicate, wanting to keep that channel open for, for friendship. So not so much a love relationship, but I feel like there is great friendship. There's a lot of devotion and a lot of true love here. So I feel like they still want to keep that channel open with you. So if you're wondering why, you know, if, if that person sounds familiar and you're wondering why they're still contacting you, I, I feel like it's done out of love, like sincere, genuine love. They respect you. They hold you in high regards. They put you on a pedestal. And so I feel like um, that's why they're reaching out, okay? Um, I don't sense there's still like, you know, romantic love, but I feel like this person holds you in high regards. And then the last message that is coming through here, um, I feel that right now, a lot of you are um, in a relationship. So I feel that somebody is, you know, kind of like laying down the laws. So for example, they might say like, they, they might tell you, I want you to be, I want us to be exclusive. If you're, you don't have the intentions to be exclusive with me, then don't waste my time. So I feel like somebody is uh, being very, very blunt and very honest with you. And um, I'm also sensing that um, for, for some of you, you're, you're put in a position where you really are trying to make things work with another person. And so you're negotiating with them, you're trying to make compromises, you're trying to make concessions so that the relationship can work out in a way that is you know, conducive for long-term stability. And so you're in a position where you are compromising with the other person. I don't feel the other person is unreasonable either. So I feel like, you know, there's a good sense of cooperation and camaraderie coming in from be, with you and a relationship partner. And I feel like they're very clear about what they want. So I feel like you might be dealing with either an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. And they're pretty much like black or white. What you see is what you get. So I, I feel like they're taking a no-nonsense approach when it comes to, you know, stating what it is that they expect from you. And I feel that, you know, you're kind of like, uh, you're beginning the, the process of accommodating them, giving them what they want. And it's still a process. So I feel like there will be a few snags along the road. It's not major, but it's, it's going to work out. So I feel like you're with a really good relationship partner right now. There's great chemistry. There's great respect. There's also a lot of, uh, you know, wanting to boost the other person up rather than, than use hurtful words to tear them down. So that looks really good. Um, I keep seeing like new addition being added to the family. So then you need a bigger space. And then even for some of you who are, um, you know, single, I feel like, you know, you're accumulating more stuff either through your travels or just through your work. So you might need another, uh, a bigger space, a bigger apartment, bigger house, so that you can have an office. So I feel like you are expanding in your home environment, uh, physically with new people being added in, or just uh, spatially, like with, um, you know, a bigger house, needing a corner office or needing a, a study. So that's coming through for you guys. Um, it looks very good for the next two weeks. Just be careful about your spending, okay? So I'll be back in March, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care, and have a happy Valentine's Day for those who are celebrating. Bye-bye.